Hey guys, so welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. Let's carry on where we left off. We've taken a bit of a break from the main story, indulging ourselves in some sub-stories, like beating up a fake Kiryu, helping out the orphanage, we even did some of the Majima saga, and took photos of pretty women. But uh, I think it's about time we go back to see Sayama once again. She's been waiting at the clinic for quite a long time, but first, I think we could afford one more clan creator battle, so let's go ahead and suit up. It's time to defend Kamurocho Hills once more. Well, it looks like we've unlocked two new missions, one of which must be story-related because it's engraved in gold. The other is protecting much of a construction sort and boring. The guy's been expanding across Japan. He's truly a gifted businessman. But I think let's stick with a taste of Tenryu for now because that four-star difficulty is mighty intimidating considering I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time. Let's do this. Okay. It's a change of scenery as well. Looks like we're fighting in Theater Square. Interestingly, we've got Ilyu Jin back there. I hope he doesn't mind getting involved. He better do me a favor after what I did for him. Okay. Interesting. Let's, uh... I don't know why we're fighting out here, but let's do our best. Alright, once again, I don't know what the optimal layout is. We're just gonna have to play it by ear. Let's start the battle. We fanned out. Hopefully no one sneaks past us. Majima is at the forefront, as he always is. Any good leader leads from the front. All right, guys, do our best. Shoot him down if you have to. All right, we're still in wave one. These chumps running straight for us. Take no prisoners. Damn, what are these guys? Zombies? Look at them. They're marching so slow. Their skin's pale. These are our dragon twister. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Blazing dragon. There we go. Much better. I honestly don't know if it's optimal to use our um, offensive skills during these regular waves. I figure they're time savers, right? So uh, the more chance we have of getting an S rank, the better. Plus, I'm just banking a lot of money. I haven't even promoted anyone. And we got an S rank. What do you know? Mini boss. Mini boss. <laughs> This isn't one of those big brothers that I beat up, right? From Kuami? It is! Younger Akai brother! Okay. So they're still relevant. Interesting. I like it. See, Mr. Dragon, isn't it better when there are two dragons working together in harmony to achieve a common goal? Keep it up, team! Wave six. Final wave. It's the older Akai brother. Let's get this done. This b-boy needs to go down ASAP. Okay, turf secured. No deaths, we didn't lose any property. Jeez, man, I might actually stand a chance. Yeah, sing the Majima Anthem there, dragon. You'll have to see it. We're performing in Theater Square, for goodness sake. Everyone better take note. You want to work? Welcome. If you don't, fuck off. Well, we had a taste of Tin Ryu. Tasted salty, like his tears. Let's get ready to meet Saima once again. Why are you standing outside, sir? You should be within the perimeter of Majima Construction. Hey, man. I'm the construction worker you helped from before. Oh, the guy who was tired and needed an energy drink. <laughs> I've got so much energy pumping through my veins. I want to punch something. Speaking of punching, I hear there's shit going down at Majima Construction. Mind if I tag along? What, were you sleeping through the first couple of cra clan creator battles? <sighs> well, happy to have you on the team, sir. Eh, what the heck. It's on the way. It's on the way to Emoto Clinic anyway. Let's do this. Gary's happy. He's always pleased when I get to entertain himself 30 <laughs> times. Hello. No, it's not. I have to spread the love evenly. Oh, you do? Oh, I'm memorable. You don't have to butter me up. <laughs> no need for that. I'm okay. I'm ready to. I'm ready to go. I trust you. Although I bet you say that to all the uh, all the guys. You're so cute when you're mad. No question mark. <laughs> Even though I know you're just teasing. I know you're not really mad. Are you now? 
Okay. Oh my. Well, I mean, I'm ready for whatever you throw at me, Hikaru. <laughs> Including yourself. I'm ready for anything. Nothing surprises me anymore. Unless you dress me up like a baby, in which case, maybe I will walk away. I hope you're ready to be turned on. <laughs> I love that you guys can hear my blushing, my shyness, my awkwardness. Genki! Yeah, Daijobu! Yes! They're turning out good. Okay, I, I will keep that in mind. Whoops, I'm zooming in somewhere else. Lure me deep. Down into your... Incredible sleep. <laughs> I didn't know it was all, all of them were viable. I just happened to land on the one that's most, you know, out there. That's not your cleavage. Are you now? Okay. This view is absolute dynamite. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together as best I can. Yeah. Oh, that's two fist pumps. We are doing really well. She's giving us a thumbs up. She gave us an okay sign. What kind of photos do you think I'm taking? I'm not taking a picture of that shelf behind you. You're extra cute. When you're mad, though. Remember, I told you. I'm trying to practice continuity here. I'm not just saying the first thing that comes to mind, you know. I do have a train of thought, maybe. Time's up already? Oh, oh, no way, you're such a tease. Okay, bye. Carry you wave, man. Jeez, just stands there nodding with a big grin on his face. Like a goofy maniac. I have to say I'm quite pleased with the progress I'm making, not just in the main story, but also on the side stuff. Uh, it's nice to do it alongside the main story, rather than in Kiwami, for example, which I'm working through to get my completion list done alongside this. I am still working on um, getting towards Amon, don't you worry. For now, let's practice with these buffoons. Sorry for the late Saima, was busy enjoying Kamurocho's nightlife. That must be like her 100th cigarette or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Isn't he like your elder? <laughs> He's been in the cop business a lot longer than you have. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Good call。銃を撃った時にでも落としたんだろう。<笑><笑> From what we've heard. I just kill him before too much action happens. <laughs> I'm fighting in theater square. 
Where's Karyu? Are we just taking a nap? Jeez, man. Whoa! Okay, alright. What? Do you think you guys are just gonna walk off? Oh, even Gary Buster Holmes speaks better. Exactly, what the fuck? The audacity of these guys, honestly. Walk in, punch the doctor. Is this a patient? No, okay. Punch the lady, and then continue to walk out. What the heck? Kim and Choi. All right, sorry, Sayama. Uh, extreme heat. Let's do this. These guys are worse than the Akai brothers. What? Get off me. Seriously? Whoa. Okay. There you go. Join your brother. <laughs> little tornado. Oh. Okay, feel the heat. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it! Okay, Joy. <sighs> Jeez, those guys are tough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! He's got the gun out! Whoa, whoa! Jeez! That's dangerous! The bullet would have flown right back at him! ハンゴゲチョチ。シンゴンパ。なるほどな。Within 10 seconds. Date's waiting at a bar called Bantam. Hey. Let's move then. <sighs> Sorry, but you guys go ahead. I can't walk around looking like this. I'll need to find a change of pants. You gonna be okay on your own? Mm. I'll be fine. See you guys at Bantam. Uh. Alright. Okay. Good luck finding some pants that match your suit. Wow, he's gone. Like a phantom. Damn, man, the bosses in this game are no joke on hard. I thought I was, you know, well upgraded. Clearly not. We're gonna need to keep investing in our stats a bit more. What the f- Dude, man, you walked in the opposite direction to us! How- What? How did you beat us here? This guy? Sheesh. Date just chilling with his Jim Beam whiskey. Oh, uh. Uh. マスターは。ちょっと出かけてる。それにしてもずいぶん遅かったな。人間。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。韓国の組織か。
死角の手が回っているらしい。The spy has already seen one massacre. マスターの様子がおかしいんだ。そわそわと出たり入ったり、どっかに連絡したりな。Uh -oh. それに、それに、なんだ。彼女のことを探してるみたいだ。私よ。この写真がカウンターの中にあった。あ、oh, you didn't think to give us a heads up that we might be walking into a trap here? この写真が。ここは俺一人に任せてくれマスターに確認するお前は伊達さんとカブラさんをセレダイわかったわ Jeez The Great Camarocho Pub Crawl going on here あれキリュウさんお戻りで Yeah マスター Took a selfie even この写真は一体なんだそそれは Was... Are we VIPs? You know? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Okay. Whoa, 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 Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just finish my drink. What? These guys look like a bunch of misfits. What kind of gag is this? Are you all like workers at local places? We've got a popo store clerk, the citizens of Camarocho. All right. Oh, yeah, there you go, bartender. That's what you get. I'm loving this extreme heat. Can't believe I didn't unlock this sooner. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Brutal. Ooh, if you were the chef from Sotenbori that I gave the butcher knife to, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, you're not. <laughs> well. Oh. Good to know. This well, you just lost another customer, okay? I'm never coming back here again. I don't care that I'm not going to finish my completion list anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Not Jing Wan Mafia. This is the Omi Alliance. God, fighting a war on two fronts here. Oh, I'm a merciful God. Damn, curious. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just you, though. I don't care about those other guys still on the floor unconscious. Okay, everyone's waiting for me at Serena. Let's get moving. Well, well, another chump to beat up. Uh-oh, he's got a cleaver. I think he did his own haircut. At last, I find the infamous Kazuma Kiryu. I must admit, you've handled yourself quite well. But have you considered that you might be going just a tiny bit overboard? You're the one walking around with a butcher's knife. Now, Kiryu-san, we're both adults here. So why don't we just talk this one out? Do you happen to have a minute or two? Not to a nut job like you, nut job not a Giri. Do you really plan on just talking this out? Actually, I hadn't planned on talking from the start. In fact, I'm sending you on a one-way trip to hell. Now die! I wasn't even talking to you. I just happened to fall into conversation. 
Sure. Man, I feel like they really nerfed the quick step in this game. I when I try to dodge his knife, I barely move an inch. Ugh. Let's tuck this out like adults. Now now, before you get punchy with me, I'll have you know I'm not a stingy person. Like any good sport, I've prepared some compensation for you, of course. How about it now? Is it candy? Because the other guy didn't give me any, and I'm tired of being scammed in this city. Good evening, Kamaki. I'm back for another lesson that I'll need to purchase. Mm? Oh, so you return yet again, my finest people. Today, I wish for you to learn the Kamaki firearm flip. Mm. That one lets me counter enemies with guns, right? I mean, the clue is in the name of the move. Hmm. Sure, teach me, old man. Uh. Absolutely. Teach me, old man. Your continued enthusiasm is much appreciated. Calling me an old man is not. But we will see if that enthusiasm wanes. In the face of firearms! Are you gonna shoot me with a shotgun again, you me you psychopath? Alright, the Kamaki firearm flip. The skill I'm about to impart upon you is was initially developed by my ancestors for use against flintlock rifles. Oh, okay. Uh, what about, um... <laughs> what about automatic rifles? The knaves you face in battle occasionally carry what those in the modern area call a piece. Do they not? The era, sorry. If that's how you want to put it, are you going to bust a cap in my ass? <laughs> oh, with this skill you will be able to give those violent lowlifes a taste of their own medicine. Now, as for the execution. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't kill. Kamaki, okay? I don't need to flip the tables on them and execute them. Unless you meant executing the move, of course. Enter a fighting stance near an opponent with a gun, then press triangle when the heat action... Oh, when the heat icon, sorry, appears on the screen. Next, my dear pupil, the practical exam. Okay, bring it on. Okay. I, think I see you got some goons to shoot me with shotguns instead of you. All you need to... All you need do now is perform the firearm flip just as I taught you. Oh, and you needn't worry. I have procured counterfeit firearms for this session. They may hurt. A lot, but they won't kill you. Great, they fire rubber bullets. Now begin. Alright guys, go easy. Oh, I have to be on the fighting stops to do it. Okay, that's a familiar move as well. Nice. I uh took out that cross dressing hitman with that move, didn't I? The one um that went after Yuya's girlfriend in that sub story in Kiwami. You are truly astounding, my dear people. Your growth is even faster than that of moss on a weather-worn boulder. Great. <laughs> Glad you approve. That is all for this lesson, my disciple. Now get out there and continue your training. All right. Won't be the same, though. They'll be using actual bullets out there. Hey, hands up the merchandise. Come on, Mama. What's the harm in getting a little handsy? Uh oh, Mama under attack. You know, I've always wanted to caress that five o'clock shadow you've got going on. Uh, I can't say that's the sentence I ever thought I'd say in my life. How dare you? Ladies do not grow beards. Well, have you taken a look in the mirror? Why don't you just shave? Having a bearded mama serving really kills the mood. Didn't you just say you wanted to stroke that five o'clock shadow? Plus, you know, I'm pretty sure she doesn't appreciate someone with a beard giving her crap at her own bar. If you're not into my style, you don't have to drink here, you know. Exactly. Just find another bar. You have the audacity to say that to me? One of your best damn customers? What? No way your best customer, like, critiques like this. This isn't even critique. This is just being a bitch. Best customer my ass. All you do when you show up is complain and try to cop a feel. What kind of bar do you think I'm running here? Pfft, you like to act tough, but I know you love all the attention. Now come on, bring it in, baby. Uh, th this guy's giving me mixed signals. I can't tell if he likes her or not. Come or not, I'm not about to let some asshole put his grimy hands on me. Bitch! I'll show you what happens when you take that tone with me. Eek! Hey, that's enough. Excuse me? Curious on. Long time no see. I was I was gonna say, this has been the same mama that's been there since like Yakuza Zero, I'm pretty sure. Which is a long ass time. Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, I'm the, the tour guide. I dropped someone off here once. He was a Korean pop star sensation. He wanted a clean shaven face, right? How about I start by knocking that fuzz off of yours? 
Guys like you are the scum of the earth. Carry you, son. He got no right to make threats, asshole. I'll show you what happens to guys who start shit with me. You're the one who started shit in the first place. It just didn't happen to be with me. Okay, vulgar man. Let's do this. Well, punish the problematic customer. Consider it done. Well, still feeling bold. <laughs> Unless you want more where that came from. You're banned from this bar. I better never catch you here again. I don't know why I'm banning you from the bar. I don't own the place. But yeah, don't come back here. These alleys are, s are narrow. I'll recognize you. P please, anything but that. Excuse me. I'll do anything. Just don't ban me from Earth Angel. Oh, really? Well, stop being a prick then. I've been a real asshole, I know it. But I never set out to cause trouble for Mama here. The truth is, I don't know how to treat a girl I like. I've always ended up being a massive dickhead to them. Yeah, no shit. Well, maybe don't drink so much. I bet that's not helping. Wait, you what? That's some playground level psychology, man. <laughs> Please. I'll work on it. I'll become a saint. Just don't ban me from Earth Angel. Watching Mama work while I sip a stiff drink is one of the only joys I have in life. Well, this isn't my call to make. I told you, Carrie, you can't be banning people from the bar. <laughs> Mama, please. You know, it wasn't easy listening to you mouth off to me off night after night. I smiled through all the bullying like a professional. But I was hurting deep down. I hid my tears inside. Mama, I'm so sorry. I've been such a jerk. But, I believe in second chances. And if you say you'll show some manners from now on, maybe I can forgive you. You mean it? Of course I do. But I'll tell you this. You mouth off or let those hands wander even once, and I'll have Kiryu-san here toss you back on your ass. Hard. Hey, I'm not a guard dog. I won't do it again, I promise. Here, let me apologize to you too, man. What do we got? Coroner. Okay, better than a charismatic photo. I think I've done enough harm for one night. See you later. Thanks so much, Kiryu san. You were so gallant. Don't mention it. I only did what anyone would. Well, I tell you what. Since you had my back, I've got yours. I keep a bat in the bar for punks like him, and it's yours anytime you need it. Ooh, another ally. Thanks, Mama. Oh, and. And. and what? Hmm. <laughs> I know I said I didn't like being bullied, but I wouldn't mind if you pushed me around a little, Kiryu san. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, I'm out of here. I'm just a tour. I was just a tour guide. You can bully me anytime, Stud Biscuit. I appreciate the offer, but that's really not my style. Oh, you're crushing my dreams, you meanie. I've already meant to be my baby, okay? I don't need to go back to Earth Angel either. <laughs> Kiryu. He's already he's already a father figure in Haruka's life, okay? I don't need to get together with anyone. Kiryu-san. By the way, Kiryu-san, remember that video store Bean? The one that had all the black market stuff in the back? Yes, that's the one. That's the one I was looking for. Rumor has it they changed the password. Ooh. Okay, good to know. Huh? If you want the new one, head over to, Debo to Debola. Guy named Nita always stands at the corner, alone, drinking. He'll tell you. So long as you pay the fee. All right. Thanks for the tip. All right. Let's go get info. It's just down here. Maybe we can try another bouncer mission too. Is he like always standing here and drinking? Boy. Are you Nita? Who's asking? My name's Kiryu. I want to ask you something about the video store Bean. Let me guess. Kiryu. You want to know the password. It'll cost you five big ones. Five big ones? Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, this one's a bit of a doozy, so listen up. First up, you'll need to ask the guy behind the counter if he's got a copy of Takechan's High School Heaven. Got that? Second step, he's gonna ask you a question of his own. No matter what he asks, the answer will always be the total price of all the drinks at Cafe Alps. He's a regular there. You might have to go do some field research for that one. Just remember, all the drinks at Cafe Alps. Uh. Got it. 
Okay, we're gonna need to go to Cafe Ops. Maybe after I beat up some thugs. I'll always need a meal. The Hotel District Maniac, normal, a strange man who goes by Red Man, has been rampaging across the Hotel District, assaulting and kidnapping pedestrians at random. Go chase him out. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Red Man's already here. And I'm beating him up. He's dressed like a gimp. Or a wrestler. Or both. Red Man down. Simple enough. Who do we need to beat up now? We've already taken him out. Oh, shit, he's back. Okay. Time for extreme heat, then. Man, I forgot how brutal these missions can get because you can't heal. Red Man again! Jeez. Oh, feel like he's in a recurring enemy until the very end. Alright, this is the last part. Oh, jeez. Gonna need to somehow survive. I mean, I got a bunch of weapons. I should probably make use of them. <laughs> I've got the shotgun. You don't know the Kamaki moves for this one. Run. He's got a grenade. Oh, shit. Okay, it doesn't blow them up. Or maybe they were out of the blast radius. Saw him in half. Okay, that'll hurt. Oh, no. Okay, grenades do work. He bowled that one. Oh. oh, he must have blown up behind me. That was close. I feel like I need to use weapons to get through these bouncer missions. Red man. That's not a name I want anything to do with. Not after last time. Okay, I don't want to know anything about what you two went up to. Alright, Cafe Alps. Let's get a meal and count the drinks. So we got 1,500, 21, 26... We're thinking about 2,600 yen. Sounds good to me. Let's uh, resolve things with the orphanage. I'm back. Oh, Kiryu-san. Perfect timing. The contractor called to say he was cancelling the invoice. That means the work was free. Sounds like it all worked out. Well, it's good to know that they actually did some construction. It was just they were overcharging. How did you ever convince him? I guess I can be pretty convincing. <laughs> Incredible, Kiryu-san. For a man of such few words, you must be a really strong negotiator. Yeah, well, I don't really use words when it comes to negotiating. Thanks to you, I can I can stop worrying about the children getting cold and sick. Ah, speaking of the children, they asked me to give you this letter. Children's drawing. Ooh. Believe it or not, Hayato-kun was the one who came up with the idea. Hayato. He's the boy who was pretty withdrawn, right? The one I stole a dog from a homeless man for. Yes, he's hardly the same person. These days, he's become a role model for those kids. And it's all because of you, Kiryu-san. I wouldn't say that. Sunflower has a way of making bonds grow stronger. Perhaps you're right. Well, I'm going to report back to the children. They'll be thrilled. Good to know. Take care. Alright, I'm back. Yo, looking for something in particular? Looking for Takechan's high school heaven. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna have to ask you something before I give it to you, though. How much was my gas bill last month? It was... Oh, wow, I didn't realize we were gonna get, like, a combination. 2600 uh. More or less. Right this way, man. Cheers. What do we have on offer? Ooh-wee. Damn. That's a lot of stuff. But this guy just lives here. I like how they even have a, like a caddy sit. I can use the weapons dealer. Brilliant. Thank you. I'll be sure to stop by later on when I need some more sexy videos, that is. What's going on back here? Huh? You think you can go muscling in on our turf, chubs? I told you once already, we don't want your pervy shit around here. Yeah. No, everything I've got is clean, I swear. Bullshit. In this town, everything's got a goddamn fetish. Why don't you show us the goods, Mr. Rule 34, or are you scared you'll get turned on by your own stash? Mm, that's not it at all, though. I guess my wares are a little eccentric. Yeah? I called it. Come on, dump your bag. Uh oh, it's not what you think, right? It's probably like that mushroom seller. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Somebody help me. A pervy peddler. Uh-oh. 
I better step in. Intervene. Guess I should lend a hand. To the pervy man. And who the hell are you? You really got a butt into this? <laughs> you said butt to the pervy man. Boy. Wait, I'm the pervy man. No, sorry, never mind, forget it. Leave him alone. He's not gonna hurt anyone selling his stuff in this back alley. Huh? You one of Fatso's friends, guy? Sorry, but he's not getting off the hook that easy. And neither are you. You'll have to excuse my companion here. His methods are rather uncouth. Hello there. That said, we cannot permit this man to sell his illicit wares in our territory. Perhaps you'd like to cover the vendor's fee in his stead? It's 300,000 yen, sir. I'm yeah. good. Sorry, I don't have that kind of money. Huh? I do, but it's going to the orphanage. The hell? No money, no selling. Indeed, those are the rules. All right. Teach these two a lesson, will you? Say your prayers, pervs. You're the one accosting the pervert. Trying to get his wares. Okay, there we are. How's that for 300,000 yen? It's gonna be your dental bill. You're a little more than a rank and file guy, aren't you? I'm not Yakuza anymore. Ah, but you were then. There's some comfort in knowing we didn't just get defeated by a civilian. I am a civilian. So, are you done messing with this guy? Indeed. Might makes right, and you have proven yours. Let us go. <laughs> sure. There's too many of you for me to catch anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. You need to be more careful, okay? If you don't go through the proper channels, this will happen every time. I'm really sorry. I never had to pay any vendor fees when Majima side controlled the area. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But before I knew it, turf changed hands and this new family started squeezing every last yen out of me. Why don't you sell your wares at the construction site? Really? Majima-san might be unconventional, but even he would charge vendor's fees on his territory. Oh, he did charge me. In a way. He made me hunt down rare videos for him. Freaky martial arts type stuff. Mm -hmm. Do I want to know? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's some sort of gleam in your eye. Wait, what? Ooh. Super Kung Fu Man. What are all these movies? Okay. I'm gonna purchase them all from you. Uh, I can't buy weapons. That's fine. Done. Anyway, I'm Kamiyama. Looking forward to doing business with you. From the newest releases to the deepest cuts, I've got anything you could ever need. <laughs> Just stop by if you're ever in the mood. I'll be waiting. Okay. <laughs> Great. Just when I was about to make it to Serena. Excuse me, Sonny. Hmm? You mind telling me where in the hell I'm, I am? Granny and Barrel. We're really, we're really racking up the sub stories. This is Kamurocho, Tenkaichi Street to be exact, in Tokyo, Japan, Asia. Well, ain't that something? Thank you much, Sonny. Yeah. Sure thing. Take care of yourself. I'm gonna keep walking now. Hold on a sec. Ah. Uh, cool. Need something else? You do the email, Sonny. Give me your address. What? Why? Why would I do that? Well, you see, this here's my first time up in Tokyo. Afraid I can barely tell what's what in these parts. I've already played tour guide, thank you. Unless you're gonna drag me to a hot strip club, I'm not interested. I'm lost as a mule and kitten in this concrete jungle, and at my age, stress like that'll be the death of me. That's a bit of a stretch. All I'm saying is that I could use a friendly voice to help me out if I'm lost. You seem to know this place very well, sonny boy. So what do you say? Help an old lady out? It ain't like I'll hand your email out to the hooligans. I don't know. Will you? Sides, aren't you supposed to respect your elders? You never know when karma's gonna pay you back. Fine, I'll give you my address. But don't start emailing me unless you're really lost, okay? <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. There we go. So you're Kazuma Kiryu, huh? That's me. Why'd you say it like you know me? You could call me Granny White. At least that's what all the kids around my house call me. Sure. Nice to meet you, Granny White. Charmed, Kazu-chan. What did you call me? Kazu-chan. It's what I'm gonna keep calling you, too. Sorry, but them's the breaks. 
I guess I'm not an elder, so she doesn't have to respect me. But mind you, the delinquents are always calling me Gramps and trying to fight me. You know, now that I'm looking at you. Yes? Hmm? You're not big on words, are you? If I had to guess, you usually use your fists to get the message across. Yes. <laughs> Called it. Could tell just from glancing you over. What are you, a gypsy? A fortune teller? Reminds me, Kazuchan. You mind doing old Granny White another favor? Kind of depends on what it is. You're creeping me out. Well, I came frolicking all the way up to Tokyo on a whirlwind sightseeing tour. But I think I've got stalkers. Stalkers? You? You heard me. Don't go making it obvious, but take a peek over there. Oh. Who are they? They look like bad news. What'd you do, Granny? I ain't done a damn thing. Well, maybe I did a few things. Anyways, I need you to protect me. They could take a run on my life any second now. This isn't what I signed up for. I just wanted to go to Serena. <gasps> no time for chatting. Here they come. I'm counting on you, Kazuchan. Wait, wait. You, give us old lady. Oh, Chinese now. We got, we've got the Omi Alliance. We've got the Koreans, and now we got the Chinese after me. What are you going to do to her? Hard to say. Maybe we chop her into little bits. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. If you not head her over, we take her by force. Hope you're ready to die. All right. Oh, is she going to fight too? She's not going to run in the corner. Let's do this. Oh shit, she's actually got a health bar. Whoa, okay, well it looks like uh, Granny White is not in peril whatsoever. Contrary to the freaking sub-story name, she can fight. You, so strong. Yes, I am. Go on, time to run. <laughs> I like how they get up so slowly. And then they realize, okay, maybe this is a good idea to just back off now. Are you alright? Clean as a whistle. Fellas didn't even scratch me. Appreciate the assist, Kazuchan. What were they after you, Granny? <laughs> oh, I've had guys wanted a piece of me for almost a century now. Always turned them down if they ain't top grade man muscle, though. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, they might come round again. Think you can keep help keep you safe if they do? I doubt I have much choice. And I probably don't need to. You look like you can handle yourself. Just shoot me an email if things get hairy. <laughs> Will do, Kazuchan. Good on ya. Well, I'm gonna take in a few more sights in this crazy city. Keep an eye on that email, you hear? Uh. Right. Thanks, Granny. Okay. Sheesh. Maybe now I can finally catch up with a drink. 